This is the Jekari 1000 Pro Portable Power Station and its very useful friend, the Solar Saga 100W Solar Panel. These two have been a great addition to my life as a music producer, DJ, and content creator. Thanks to Jekari for sending them out and for sponsoring this video. So the 1000 in the name of the power station means two things. Number one, it's the size of the battery, which is 1000 watt hours, and the output delivery of the device, which is 1000 watts. It has a total of seven power outlets. The first two are AC, which are the three pin South African plug, which can both deliver the total 1000 watts. So you can use it to power gadgets, appliances, and such. And then on the left, it has two USB-A ports, which can both deliver 18 watts. So you can use them to power your phone, watch, speakers, and such. 18 watts used to be considered fast charging back in the day, but now it's just normal charging. But if you do need fast charging, right underneath the USB-A ports, there's two USB-C ports. Both of these deliver 100 watts, which is good for bigger devices or devices that support fast charging. I have a 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, which I use for all kinds of things, including music production and editing this very video. It's a very powerful machine. And when charging, it uses 61 watts, which is less than the 100 that is delivered by the USB-C ports on the Jackery. So I can use one of these ports to charge the laptop with no problem. And it takes about two hours to fill up, but I reckon it would be faster if the laptop could actually handle 100 watts, but it doesn't. And then the final outlet is the vehicle style outlet, which I don't use very much, but it's good that it's here for people that do. So that's a total of seven outlets and there's three groups. It's the AC, the USBs and the DC vehicle thing. Each one of these groups has a button to switch them on and off. You press it and it glows green, that means it's on. And then if you press it again, it means it's off. And you can use all seven outlets at the same time, which is pretty dope. And then right in the middle of the device, there is a display that tells you the battery percentage, the remaining time, input and output power, and whether or not the plugs are on or off. And then on the left of the display, there is an LED light because why not? There's three settings. There is bright, crazy bright, and flashing. There are three ways to charge this unit. It's AC, car, and solar. With the AC charging, you take this cable and then you take this end to the wall and this end to the unit. And then it charges the unit from zero to 100 in 1.8 units. But the surprising part was that it does it almost kind of silently. Like I've had other units where if you charge it, it spins up the fans really loud, which kind of defeats the point of like a portable thing that you can use in your house because it's now like, a generator. And then with car charging, you take this cable and you plug this end into your car and the other end to the unit. This is a very great feature because it means that if you're going camping or something, you can charge the unit on your way to the destination, which is very cool. So it's very useful if your campsite is a longer drive and you can charge the unit on your way there. And then the last charging method is solar charging, which is where the 100W comes in. As the name suggests, it delivers a total of 100 watts to the unit. And you can have more than one solar panel connected to the unit for even faster charging. So if you're gonna go camping and there's no AC sockets close by to charge it, you can just use the sun. It also has a circle indicator that can help you line it up with the sun for maximum delivery. Even if you don't line it up perfectly with the sun, it's still gonna deliver power, but the circle helps you deliver the maximum power possible. The solar panel can power other things too, so things like your phone can be charged directly from it. But to top it all off, the solar panel is splash proof, so you don't need to worry if a little bit of water gets on the surface. So I live in South Africa, in case you're not able to tell, but out here we have serious power problems. If it's not load shedding, it's random power cuts where we don't even know when the power is gonna be restored. So for me, that's when the Jackery shines the most. When there's no power, I can connect my whole studio, which consists of a 13 inch MacBook Pro, two five inch studio monitors, a 27 inch 4K display, an audio interface that needs to be plugged into the AC socket, a cob light that I use to light my videos, and a motorized desk that can be moved up and down electronically. When all of these things are connected and I'm working like I normally would, I get about 10 hours from the Jackery. So it's good to know that I can actually work for 10 hours if I need to without electricity. If I'm not working, I can relax in the living room and watch TV while there's no power with no problem. My entertainment system is very simple. It has a 65 inch TV, a Bluetooth speaker, and of course the Wi-Fi. When all of these are connected, I get about 12 hours from the Jackery, which is 
more than enough for me. But when I'm doing power hungry things like gaming on my gaming PC, I get about three or four hours depending on how demanding the game is. And there are things that I do that when I connect it, I get way too much power. For instance, when I connect my DJ controller, laptop and speaker to DJ, it says 25 hours remaining. I don't know about you, but DJing for 25 hours is kind of crazy. It's definitely something I'd never do. But I am planning to shoot videos where I DJ in the middle of nowhere or like next to a lake or something. And this is going to be very useful for that. So with all of these use cases, there's one feature that I've used pretty much since I've heard about it. That feature is the 1000 Pro actually doubles as an EPS. This means that you can permanently plug in your appliances to the Jackery. So you basically plug in your appliances to the 1000 Pro and then you plug in the 1000 Pro to the wall. If you do this when there's power, the power station bypasses its batteries and uses the power directly from the AC socket to your appliances. And then as soon as there's a power cut, it instantly kicks in the batteries and you don't even realize it. Unless it's at night and your lights are on, then of course you're gonna notice it because your lights are gonna go out, but the rest of the things are gonna remain on. Jackery is also running a promo this September where you can get the 1000 Pro for 17 triple nine instead of 19 triple nine. You can find it using the link in the description on the Jackery website along with the solar panel. The one that I have here is the South African version with the South African plugs. But for those of you that are not South African, I'm gonna have links for you as well. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.